And Udemy is an online course marketplace. So on one side, we have our instructors. They are everyday experts from all around the world who are creating content, course content, and publishing and selling it in our marketplace. On the other side, we have our students. Um, those are, again, people from all over the world enrolling in these instructors' courses to learn new knowledge and skills. The courses are video-based, and students, uh, their learning is totally self-motivated, self-directed, so they can consume at their own pace uh, wherever and however they like. So um, I work on the instructor side of the business. And a large part of my role as community manager is to drive engagement that results in more and better quality courses in our marketplace. So um, I would manage, or I run what you would call a content community, where our business actually relies on the content generated by our instructors. Our online community is primarily in the form of a Facebook group called the Udemy Studio. So this is a private Facebook group for new instructors. Those are instructors who are thinking that they want to create a course, or they've started creating the course, or they're at some point in the process of creating a course. We have about 40,000 members of this, this group. About 2,000 are active on a monthly basis. And these instructors are joining our you know, online group from all over the world. They're coming from very different backgrounds and areas of expertise. They're planning to teach on different topics. They're joining the group at different times, um, and often at different stages of the course creation process. So our challenge has been how to take this very asynchronous community and give our members um, something like a shared identity, a common purpose, a shared experience, something that really unites them. And one of the, way that we've, one of the ways that we've done this is through community campaigns, which we often structure in the form of challenges. So we give our instructors um, a very concrete series of tasks, and each task has like, its own defined process and outcome. And then they go through these tasks together along the way to reach a common goal. And on our end, we design these campaigns or challenges to drive our own business objectives. So I want to uh, dive into a few examples to kind of show you what I'm talking about. OK, this first example, Start Chart. Um, this was a result of some analysis that our data team had done. And they found that after 10 minutes of consuming a course, students started to drop out at a much higher rate. And this was you know, across the marketplace as a whole. So if we wanted to increase consumption, that really meant for instructors that they had just 10 minutes, the first 10 minutes of their course, to hook students, get them interested and engaged in the content, and keep consuming. And so Start Chart was a way, kind of an education campaign, where we took instructors through the process of um, designing and building the first 10 lectures of their, their online course to be super engaging for students, to hook students from the get-go, and increase, the consum increase consumption. In this second example, this was a course creation challenge where we actually took instructors through the entire process of creating a course from start to finish in just 30 days. So that's actually a lot of work. Um, and instructors kind of go through the, the schedule together. There's deadlines that they have to hit. Each deadline has like a checkpoint along the way that they're kind of crossing off before they publish their course. And this allows our instructors to go through this process together to kind of share this experience, to support and encourage each other along the way. And then for us, it also ensures that instructors are kind of applying the best practices that we've shared from our learning sciences team so that the, the course that they do publish at the end is of the highest quality possible. So this is probably a little hard for you to see, but there's some actual real comments from community members that participated in the Black Friday campaign. For example, Christy, when she finished, said, thanks so much for my tweet. I'm excited to get started connecting to others, and I am so grateful for the challenge and all it has done to inspire action. So you can see that the com community members were super pumped and motivated to be participating in um, this sort of campaign. Here's the results uh, from the Black Friday campaign. So we looked at three things. We looked at peer engagement in the community. So in the Facebook group, how many new posts, and we also looked at comments, but how much new uh, engagement was generated in the group itself. We also looked at how many courses were being published into our marketplace. Um, and for this campaign, getting new courses in the marketplace was the primary goal. We did it kind of in advance of Black Friday, which is, as you probably know, one of the biggest sales days of the year. And then finally, we wanted to look at the quality of those courses to ensure that the courses produced during the challenge were actually of high quality um, and would deliver a great experience to our students. So it was very successful um, in terms of these three metrics. And I'm not going to dig into the numbers more right now. But if you uh, do have questions, we can always get to them during the Q&A. OK, so to, to recap some of the benefits that we found from running these sort of campaigns in our community, first and foremost, it's a really effective way of activating your new community members because it gives them a very concrete way to engage for the first time. 
Um, and you kind of when you're structuring these challenges, you can make the first task have a very low barrier to entry. So it's super easy. People jump on board, they start participating, and then kind of as the challenge goes along, you can increase the commitment required for each um, subsequent task until you get your community members to kind of the final goal where you want them to be. Um, secondly, it's a, a great way to support this peer-to-peer um, -peer exchange. For our community, it's really important because you know, we are a content community. We want instructors to be getting feedback along the way on how well they're doing. Um, and there's two of us community managers. As I said, we have like 40,000 uh, members of our group, and we can't support feedback for all those members. So in order to scale, we really need our instructors to be supporting each other in this sense. And these campaigns kind of provide the, the model for them to do so and start in, instilling this behavior in our members from the get-go and so that they can continue to give and get feedback throughout their lifetime in the community. It creates cohorts of members. Um, this is super interesting because, you know, I mentioned we have an asynchronous community where everyone's joining at different times. But we're able to get, you know, whether it be a dozen or several hundred instructors together going through this process together. Um, and then they almost build this like online network where they feel like they're online colleagues and they continue to support each other um, as individuals long after the challenge is over. And then finally, as I've mentioned a few times, we do design these campaigns to drive our specific business objectives. So whether that's student consumption or whether that's new courses pub published into the marketplace or whatever that may be at the time. So I wanted to spotlight uh, one community member here, Scott Duffy. Um, he became an active community member as a result of a course creation challenge I ran almost exactly two years ago now. And you can kind of see from the stats up here how he's grown both in our community and on our site as an instructor. Some pretty incredible numbers. I'm just going to call out one. He's actually made over 10,000 comments in our Facebook group in that two years, which is second only to myself as the community manager, and that's like my job. And this is just him wanting to engage. So um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, to, to wrap all that up, I would highly encourage any of you who are running content communities or any online group that may be kind of asynchronous in nature um, to try out something like a community campaign to, to give your members a common purpose and a common goal and have them work towards that together. So thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to answering any questions uh, you may have in the Q&A.